Yo fam, uh, welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm being joined again by my friend Zachary here. Mm -hmm. He's changed his channel name for some reason, so I can't call him Trolley TNT anymore. I, what do I call you? I just call you Zach. Uh, today we're going to be doing another cooking video because they're fun. We've done one of these before, but we're going to be cooking something a little bit different today. We're going to be making uh, chocolate eclairs, which could be interesting. <laughs> We've never made chocolate eclairs before, and we're trying to do it unassisted by anyone, but mum's behind the camera in case we need help. Thanks, mum. So there's <laughs> three main stages to making it. We've got the recipe book here. So we have to make the dough, and then we have to make the icing properly, I guess. And then we have to make the yeah, cream, cream and then like assemble it all together. We've assembled all the ingredients for the first part of making the dough. And of course, no cooking video would be complete without <laughs> chef's hats. We look bloody stupid. <laughs> We've got eggs, two of them. We're even those more than two in there. We only need two for the rest. We've got flour, salt and butter, We've got water. So it says we need. 12.5 cl's of water. I have no idea what that means. So we've made, we've got four fluid ounces. 60 grams of salted butter we have, and no salt because we don't actually have any unsalted butter. 75 grams of flour, and two eggs. And we've also got some extra stuff. The uh, measuring um, equipment and the uh, bowl. So the first step is uh, put the water in a heavy saucepan and heat over a okay. flame. So we're gonna move over to the stove real quick to do that step. You grab the butter, I'll grab the water. Um, I think you got the wrong one. No, that's good. There we go. Hope so. We have no idea what we're doing. The next step says, add the butter. Just chuck it in. Yeah, whatever. Uh, stir the flour and salt on a greaseproof paper. Like this one we prepared earlier. No, we didn't. Mum, I think, did. Because we don't actually have any salt, we're just going to put the uh, flour straight in. <coughs> Chef Zach. Nice. <laughs> no. And now we wait for the butter to melt. It is. It's melted. It's melted. More water. Please water. There's gonna be no water left. It's not boiling white. Oh, bring it to a boil. We're not like evaporating the water. Why do I turn it? You turn it to the right side. Okay. Like this. There we go. Now it should start sizzling. Sizzle diesel. Okay, start stirring all that butter in. Sweet. Make sure there's no clumps. Or do we want clumps or not? No, we're making dough, so it's supposed to kind of group together. Right? So basically, we just want to keep doing this until it like solidifies. Yeah, that looks okay. We'll turn it off. So now it says to just take it off the stove and then just let it cool for a few minutes. Break one egg into a bowl and add it to the contents of the pan. Beating it with a spoon to incorporate the egg thoroughly. You do the first egg, I'll do the second egg. Front. Uh, let's use uh, Did you get any shell in there? No. You see people on TV being all like whisk back and forth, but I kind of just flip my hand all over. <laughs> Professional chefs at work here. There we go. Oops. It's fine, it's fine. Save it. Okay. Just focus on what you're doing. No shell. Move, move, move. I think we're good. Ed, Ed, bro. We're gonna whisk it anyway. Oh, okay. Um, what do we do now? Uh, it says that's literally it. There's no other step. Add it to the contents of the pan. Oh, oh well. Make sure it's all nice and nice. That looks really weird. I don't think they're doing this right. <laughs> oh well, we'll give it a way. And if it fails, it'll be a funny video anyway. It's okay. starting to come together, right? Eh? Oh. Wow. 
We have one of like these things that's supposed to like funnel the icing through and like make it in straight lines. It's just gonna be interesting. Jeez, I hope this works. <laughs> oh my god, okay. If you were using the spoon to scrape off your other spoon. Try one, uh, a little bit messy. So those are the trays. This is not gonna go well, is it? You go first. Yeah. Mm, got him. Got him. And now we wait, I suppose. The amount of mistakes we're making in this video is insane. So we've just got the uh, eggs. We're gonna have five or six of them. Salt, milk. Uh, half a liter of milk, uh, sugar and flour again, and then we've also got vanilla essence and two bowls to do the cool separating thing with the drink bowl. Okay, Zach, you want to go first? This is the cool thing, guys. Ready? Watch. Oh, oh good job, Zach. You know the egg? Uh, Mom, told you we're professionals. Yeah, hold on, Zach. Did you actually do it? Skills. Okay, right, put it in. Now we just have to do that five more times. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. You ready? Oh, I missed it Oops, I got some. What are we doing? We're mixing the flour and the eggs together. Meanwhile, the eclairs are finished. They look, uh, they look like mini, like, breadsticks. They're not as bad as I thought, except for this one. That one's bad. Uh, beating until the mixture is thick and cream coloured, yeah. Look at that. Mix the sugar and it goes together with the spoon. Can you mix the sugar? That's what we're doing. This is flour. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh no. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't believe we did that. I'm just gonna start mixing up the yeah, Oh, we have stuffed up majorly, guys. Welcome to my cooking channel. Today we are making cream. <laughs> it looks like a scrambled egg. <laughs> it does, eh? While Zach's over here desperately trying to save our uh, scrambled eggs, it's not working. I'm over here uh, heating up the milk with a bit of vanilla essence in it. Stirring constantly, pour the hot milk into the egg mixture in a thin stream. I That's think you should stop stirring. <laughs> this is gonna make the thinnest stream ever. Yeah. Mum, what's your verdict? Well, the problem is your sugar's not dissolved. See how it's crunchy? Yeah. It's supposed to be whipped with the eggs. Mom. Yeah. I think it might taste alright, if not a little bit sandy. Oh, no. So, in the final attempt to save five eggs, 125 grams of sugar, and 40 grams of flour. We're now going to mix this extremely egg-like looking mixture with the milk over there. Milk's looking pretty hot, we're gonna mix it now. Some people say, oh, in cooking, it doesn't matter the order that you put things in because it all get in there in the end. This is proof right here that order matters. Stirring vigorously, Cook over a medium heat until the mixture comes to a boiling point. <laughs> what happened to the mixture? <coughs> Where's it gone? It's not setting in. It's not looking like cream. Um, um, it's thickening. I don't, it smells amazing because mm. of the vanilla mm -hmm. essence. Can we, like, like don't worry, this was project? Can, like, help them cook them around? Maroon. Meringue. Meringue. Maroon is a colour. Is it thick? Wait, give me one of those cookies here. It's like six. No way, are we? You've already had two. Seven. <laughs> Mum over here is very kindly, um, while we're trying to save mm -hmm. the other one. Mm -hmm. I is making a backup plan with the correct method, which is probably going to be a thousand times better than ours, so mm -hmm. we, can, we can go with that if this one gets really bad. This one's definitely the better one. Look how much more cream-like this is. Mm -hmm. I literally read one word wrong. Your hat's a bit crooked, mate. Is it? Okay, that's not what I meant, but... 
We failed so bad. We really did. Poor Zach's phone. Did you tell him Yeah. <laughs> Final look at the uh, mixture after it's strained. Oh, yeah, no, we're, we're definitely not oh, using that. Time. We're definitely going to be using this mixture, which looks so much nicer. Thanks for making the backup, Mum. It's okay. Yours isn't that bad. It does dirty. Oh, I don't know about it that. does. <laughs> don't let it stick to the sides of the bowl. I'm just trying to cut up the eclairs in half. I know we said we weren't be getting much assistance, but... You know assistance. what? We needed it. The eclairs have been stuffed and we're just gonna let them stay there and just not be touched for a while while we make the icing for them. Yeah, 30 mils because we double it. <laughs> okay, I think this is good. There is a lot of cleaning up to be done. Alright, Zach, it's your turn this time. <laughs> Face mode, activate. Whoa. Love cooking. I swear if we cook this much in food tech in turn two, I would have actually liked food tech a lot more. Give me my chef's hat back. You didn't give me the chef's hat back. Um. <laughs> Alrighty guys, here's a here's a 10 second cinematic. There you go. That was that was good enough. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do like a like a taste testing thing to see if these are actually decent. Can I eat them now? Yes, you can eat it. <laughs> we really oh, it's overwhelmed with the chocolate. I reckon we should have we really, we really should have gone to the trouble of making the actual icing. Mm -hmm. So terrible, it's only fourth one. <laughs> I don't mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please do subscribe and leave a big fat like on this video. Uh, thank you again, Zach, for joining me. Subscribe. On, uh, and we'll see you all in the next one, which most likely won't be a food video. <laughs> Might be. See ya. Bye. So, Zach, what have we learned from this experience? Um, not to cook. I mean, I was going to say always read the recipe, but that's fair enough. <laughs>